A knife is one of the best weapons. It hits so hard. Plus, it, you know, some satisfaction with just, you know, stabbing people, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's Paul, y'all, and uh, thank you for joining me on Streets of Rage Remake, uh, the continued playthrough. Now, uh, I left you off last time, I uh, just defeated level one, and Barbon, he uh, told me that he knew where the bad guy was, etc., etc. You know, the story is a story. It's fine. We're here, to, we're here to kick people's butts on the streets. Let's do this. Now, uh, the uh, keen-eyed people, hang on, that's really loud in my ear. The people with keen eyes will notice that the uh, outfit for Axel has changed. That is, yes, I love walking in that barrel when it explodes like that. It just proves my manliness. Um, uh, I went back and I uh, exited out and I re-recorded, <clears throat> well, not re-recorded, sorry. I uh, changed his costume. There's a button when you're doing a character select which allows you to change the color. And this is the, the traditional Axel costume right here with uh, the blue blue jeans, white t-shirt, red gloves. That's 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 the Axel that I know and love. Uh, I'm not sure why default Axel in this game was set to gray, but it's all good. There we go, oh, my knife's still alive. A knife is one of the best weapons. It hits so hard. Mm -hmm. And it's quick to use, everything, it's nice. Plus it, you know, some satisfaction with just, you know, stabbing people, you know what I'm saying? Not in like a creepy way, and just like in the game way. You know what I mean? Ooh, that was nice. Smash. It's funny how these guys on bikes have like zero health, you know? Uh, one hit will kill them. But once they jump off the bike, man, they are, they got some pretty good, pretty good stamina. Oh, nope, there you go. Oh, come on. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that explosion was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Now, something um, to notice is these guys uh, with the red hair uh, wearing the jeans jackets. Uh, their name... Ah, they hit me right in the head. Their name... Names... His name, whatever you want to say is Gausaya. Um, uh, Gausaya is actually a mistranslation of the name Garcia. And they fixed that in future uh, uh, Streets of Rage's is, is. So like Streets of Rage 3, for example, his name is Garcia. Um, but uh, I just thought it was an interesting, you know, kind of fun fact that if, when you see um, Gausaya, it's supposed to be Garcia. And these guys are just hanging out in the back of the truck chatting with their, you know, kung fu buddy here uh, about, I, mean, I don't know what, but they're all just standing around, you know, cheering him on, and it can't feel good just to watch your, your buddy just get trounced like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't even get a hit in. I don't know. I can't feel good. That's all I'm saying. And, I mean, I guess he didn't want them to step in, but, you know, like, he's going to stand there and watch your boy get, get folded like a lawn chair? I don't know. And then there's this guy. You know, he wasn't in the Streets of Rage 2, but he looks like he's just trying to deliver a box. He's just your average everyday trucker. He's just trying to move. He, maybe he's a mover. I don't know. And he's got a job to do. He's got he's got things he's got to take care of. And then somehow Axel messes things up and makes him drop, drop a box on his foot, even though he wasn't there and already left. Maybe he was just so socked to find that his friends had been just completely trashed. Uh, and, I mean, they were disappeared at that point, but still, I don't know. I don't really know what his story is. That's all I'm trying to say here. Um, but for some reason, he comes out here in just a minute, and he's really surly. I mean, I'd be surly too if I dropped a big old box on my foot. But why are you trying to blame Axel? Axel wasn't even there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if anything, you should be blaming his other guys for messing up your trucking routes and your moving and all that other stuff. But I don't know. I don't know what to say. How dare you? How dare you, sir, mess up my combo? I wasn't good here. I'm going to put it on you. Aw. What's that? Mm. Okay, come here, trucker. Ah! Yeah, good try, though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Aw. This game is, 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 is pretty good for stress relief as well. You know, I mean, there's something to be said for 
just being able to just come over here and just take a pipe up to somebody's skull. You know what I'm saying? And just, mmm. That satisfying sound. It's nice. Mm hmm. Come on, trucker. Come on. Come on. There it is. Ooh. Didn't stand a chance, trucker. Didn't stand a chance. Now, these guys are called Serger. Serger. It must be like Gaussia's, or Gaussia's, you know, older brother. Um, I was kind of looking at him like from One Punch Man. You know, you have, uh, you know, with the Tank Top Man, and you got Tank Top Tiger. And then I forget what the, the ultimate Tank Top guy is. Um, this, this boss is easily one of the more annoying in the game. He doesn't, he's really hard to hit. You can't really get a good grip on him ever. Uh, he's, oh, I didn't expect that. Um, he doesn't really stand around in one place for too long for you to be able to like grab him or do anything like that. He's just, he's just super annoying. Good old jet. Oh, wow. That that one hurt. That one really hurt. Let me get this. Pardon me, sir, while I eat this entire turkey in the middle of this fight. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hmm. See, that's the thing. Like, you can't really get a good solid punch on him because he, because he just ducks back every time. It's really annoying. Jump. Jump, Axel. Jump. I wanted you to jump right there. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he didn't like that. Ha-ha! <laughs> I did stylish on you right there. That was cool. I was like backwards. Whee! This is pretty much all you can do at this point. I mean, jump kicks work like a champ against this dude. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm. Mm-mm. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, that was a good hit. How? I really don't want to lose a life against this guy. It would be kind of embarrassing. No, oh, that was that was bad. Yeah. Uh oh, oops. Mm -hmm. Again, eh, it's not a whole lot of skill involved here. You know what I mean? Like, there's no. I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing it, but there's just not a lot of like. Yeah, I'm really good at this game. That's how I can beat this guy. I'm just really. I'm literally just jump kicking. And he's running into my foot with his face. Oh. Or the back of his head, as it was the case right there. So I was just like, I don't really want to die with this guy, man. I really, I really, really don't want to die with this guy. There you go. Such a skillful victory on my part. <sighs> Got this. <laughs> jump kick. Jump kick spam. Okay. That is going to do it for this episode. I'm going to take this to level... Oh, let's... Sorry. I jumped the gun. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. Save your energy, Skate. Our sources confirm that, this is a, that the nearby amusement park has seen a rise in syndicate activity. Something is going on, comma. Let's check it out. Good call, Zan. You who weren't in this game at all the first time around. But as I said, this is really Streets of Rage 4. Okay, pause. Now, for real this time, I was just joking before. That's going to end it for this, do it for this episode. Um... Uh, please, if you liked it, click on that like button. And if you want to see more of my stuff and watch the rest of the series, please hit the subscribe with the little bell notification so you get a little uh, email or however you want to be notified that I have that I have new stuff up. So anyway, um, yeah, that's all you need. Thanks.